Welcome to another video, guys. Today we're going to have a look at how to recreate some uh, FM leads that you can hear in a lot of uh, Fungus Funk tracks. I would say that it's kind of his signature sound uh, that we're trying to um, replicate today. So without further ado, let's just have a listen to one of the tracks that I am referring to. So we're going to start with uh, Fungus Funk Super Silver. Yeah, and then we have also another one uh, with him and Asioma called Fractal Funk. So yeah, um, I believe the synth that he's using to create uh, those are actually albino. So it's a old dinosaur of a synth, <laughs> which uh, is and was very popular back in the day. And uh, yeah, still is popular. So let's just grab one of those. So yeah, I already prepared one over here. So... You can actually get Albino 3 Legend, which is a updated version of the old one um, by Rob Papen and Limplug. Uh, because as far as I know, Limplug it doesn't exist anymore as a company. So for a long time, um, you couldn't get this synth, actually. But now uh, Rob Papen has um, released uh, a, a, like an updated version with VST3 and Mac OS support and everything. So you can... Um, go back and, and um, reuse uh, a lot of the sounds that you created with it if, if you were a user of Albino 3. Um, so anyway, let's just delete this one and we'll start from the beginning because it's kind of an old interface, so might as well uh, take you through it. So when you first load it up, it's going to uh, load up all your um, presets that you have right here. And if you just hit the bank over here and then press Z in it preset, it's going to initialize the synth from the beginning. So it's going to remove all the effects and everything. So let's just hear how it sounds right now. So yeah, all I have is some reverb on it. So it's an ordinary sawtooth. So first of all, what you want to do is you want to go up here to the oscillator one section and then you press digital. And over here, there's like a slider or a fader between two different waveforms. So you have a sine wave that is going into a sine wave. So for this sound, we want to have a sawtooth over here. And it doesn't matter what you have here as long as you grab the slider. So it's a sawtooth. So you can morph between different shapes um, that are pre-existing. And then you want to turn on the FM. So what this means is that oscillator one will be FMing oscillator two over here. So we have to turn on oscillator two. So if we try to play some sound now, you're not gonna hear anything because it's acting as a modulator, right? So we have to activate oscillator two. And this volume knob will now act as a FM amount. So how much should this affect oscillator two? Well, this is a volume of oscillator two. So we can hear some quite FM-y tones, but the real magic happens is if you start playing around with this. So for example, now you can hear some more FM tones, right? And let's go down an octave over here. Cool. So, so far so good. Now we just need to find some cool um, shapes. So let's go over here. Let's focus on this one for a little bit. 
I'm going to change this to a sawtooth as well. And then I'm going to go over here and I'm going to choose another spectral waveform. For example, I'm just going to scroll through some. This one looks pretty cool. And then you can change the tone by... You can mix them for a little bit. Let's try another one. This one's pretty cool. Just gonna turn off the reverb. So this is how it sounds dry. Just gonna turn down the release because it's this is the ADSR, like the amplitude uh, modulation or the amplitude uh, envelope. And I'm just gonna turn off the envelope here for the filter. So this is the filter section. So we're basically done with the um, uh, with the oscillator section over here. So I'm going to move on to the filter, and I'm going to set a high pass. I'm going to add some saturation. Around, somewhere around here. I'm going to add some resonance. Cool. So if you go back to uh, the Super Silver track, you can hear that there's like a really nice sequence going on, right? And we can actually get that with Albino um, by activating the ARP over here. So we have the arpeggiator and I'm gonna set it to up mode. And I'm gonna leave it at that. And then I'm gonna have single trigger and I'm going to have mono over here. So I don't need to play around with the gate over here. Instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the LFO one. And I'm just going to turn down the rate over here. So I'm not having any sync mode on here. I'm going to set that to this shape. I think it's sample and glide of some sort. And I'm going to activate it on mono and see how that sounds. So I'm going to go into the matrix over here. I'm going to map the LFO1 to filter one cutoff. I'm just going to add a little bit. Gonna go into LFO2 and I'm gonna set this to sample and hold. I'm gonna set this to I don't know, one over four dotted maybe. Add some modulation depth. Then I'm gonna go back to the matrix. I'm gonna map LFO2 to the oscillator, no, sorry, envelope amp release. So it's going to modulate the release time over here um, with LFO2, and I'm just going to maximize it. Um, so it says 1.0. So now we're basically getting the same type of sequence, right? Oops. So with our kick and bass.
that doesn't really do anything. Cool. Um, so the next step is to add some effects. Let's just try some different... Uh, try different shapes. Cool. Um, yeah, so effects, that, that was it. Um, so let's just turn this down. So what we can hear is... That glassy stuff is definitely a phaser. That's also definitely a phaser. And this sounds some kind of like a doubler effect or some kind of delay or something. So what I'm going to try is, first of all, I'm going to get the phaser flanger. And I'm going to get the Ableton native one, phaser flanger, that's the name of it. I'm going to switch it to doubler. I'm just going to turn off the amount. Maybe it's not the doubler, maybe it is a delay some, of some sorts. I haven't really figured out exactly what it is. Maybe it's just some kind of... Um like early reflections or something, hybrid reverb. Let's try this one. Just gonna use the convolution. I guess it's good enough. Great. And then I'm going to add Phase Mistress as a phaser. See how that sounds. So the volume pretty much disappeared. Let's just remove that one. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to style edit. Then I'm going to use 24 poles. Over here. 
yeah, that's pretty much the trick. Um, if you want more of those glassy tones, you can just go into whatever phaser you have. And just... creative on trying to make your own stuff so i hope this video would help was helpful and that it sparked some inspiration for you um, don't forget to check out albino 3 uh, the new updated version it should be available on rob papen's website i'll leave a link in the description and uh, yeah i will see you in the next one